You and I are the center of the universe, of the multiverse, only if it's infinite. A Malthia is a small and rather irregular shaped moon of Jupiter that fits so well with the crooked way of life that minorities like us carry. And about my dad's bar, you could even say it was a bar for elitists because not everyone could get in there. Therefore, my dad's bar always had interesting people. We parked the bikes at the entrance. The Jovian moon has some small gravity which is good for a change. We took the chest with us to arouse my father's curiosity. The doorman at the entrance only let in those who had a torn sock. And to have a torn sock, you had to have walked a lot of space. The gang rests at the counter and by the tables, where there were already customers. Dore addresses my father with a hug and says enthusiastically, Mirfil Shaquille, good to see you. When I see you with the gang, I just feel like going with you, says my father and continues. I see you already got the goods. What Dore responds to. Yes, we got the cargo. And it went well. Now the next step is to go to Europa and get there a faster interplanetary ship to get the cargo to the intended destination. And my father asks, how oh well, but where is this place exactly? I don't know where exactly it is, but the ship will already have the coordinates programmed. I think it's located between the asteroid belt and planet Mars. And my father says in a nostalgic way, I would like to come with you to relive the past. But maybe I can't take this way of life anymore. You are still full of energy, but I'm, I'm getting old. Dora responds. I'm full of energy because I really don't know how to be anything else. My dad starts laughing and says, you're still deep, that's why you are a little. So what about my son? He's doing well? Yes, as a first mission he did very well says Dore. Meanwhile, unbeknownst to the gang, the space police had arrived at the scene. And was approaching the doorman. The police chief had arrived with one X-ray vision sniper and two agents with automatic laser shotguns. But the door only opened with the will of the doorman. His brain was attached to a door mechanism and the will only exists when the porter saw a torn sock. Show me a torn sock and I will let you in, says the doorman. An armed policeman replies, I happen to have a torn sock, but I can't take it off. The doorman smiles and says, Yeah, it's because you don't drink biker beer. The chief of police says, We have a warrant to capture Dore and his gang. We know they robbed a Rohit Corp carrier ship. The doorman says, but why are you protecting a privately owned company that even has its own militia? You local police should help the people. The chief of police responds. From what they paid us, it seems to me that the situation is critical. What you stole it seems is extremely valuable. We have the license to kill and it's been a long time since I've killed anyone. Open the gate now. To which the doorman responds determined, No, I won't open. The police chief pulls out his pistol. And shoots at close range. 
a close headshot. The two of you get behind the ship and shoot anyone that comes out of this door. Sniper, come with me. Steady your jetpack, says the police chief. The abashed colleagues accept his command. Inside the bar, unknowingly of what is happening outside, Dory and my father talk about politics. Dory asks, Where is humanity heading? And my father answers, Humanity, with or without political leadership, will continue to become increasingly heterogeneous along these centuries. Cultural bubbles are created that will naturally cause friction with each other. You're right. It is, after all, just another form of biodiversity. Says Dory and continues. The role of human existence in its different forms is to bring pressure and friction to each other so that those who survive become even better adept. We sting each other so that humanity will be better and better in the end. The three of us at the counter laughed out loud. For the conversation implied that we were the survivors. Dora asks my father, So you think it is normal that war exists? To which my father answers serenely, Yes, it's normal to have wars. After all, what are we doing all along? And at that precise moment, he gets shot from the ceiling that mortally injures him. Everyone at the bar is frantic and panicky. We are being attacked! Dor exclaims, they managed to follow our trail here, no one goes out the door, it's an ambush. Every second another bar customer was killed. Vernon already had his helmet ready to put on, but he too was shot dead with a headshot. Medea claims, Vernon is dead, we have to do something. Dory yells at Elkran to throw a laser grenade at the ceiling and open a hole. And so Elgin did, right before he was also mortally hit. Dory calls for me and the couple to get under the hole and prepare to attack. As we would be catapulted by the thumper, Dory raises his scepter and exclaims, Kill them all! <laughs> and so by hitting the ground with the rod, Dory created a rise that projected us at high speed next to the X-ray vision sniper. The two policemen guarding the entrance to the bar saw the slaughter of their colleagues and fearfully entered their spaceship and fled because they realized that we were free and they were in minority and at a disadvantage. Me, Zana and Medea, slowly by gravitational force of Amalthea, returned to the bar, again through the opening of the ceiling. I approached the remains of my dad. Filled with anger and pain, I was paralyzed. I couldn't go on with the mission and I didn't want to leave my father there either. Dory approaches me and says, Get your shit together! He's gone! And there is nothing we can do about it now! But I can't leave him here like this! Fuck the mission! I say. Dory says, It's game over for your father. If you stay, it will be game over for you too. To which I reply, I stay. I don't care anymore. I want it to end for me. He was my only family. Dora says, Life is a game. Existence, reality plays with us. Is it worth betting on this game? If your answer is yes, then it's no. 
If your answer is no, then it's yes. If not, it wouldn't be a game, a play. You bet, it is a game. Calmer, almost numb, I sigh. And Dory continues. Do you think you are the protagonist of this story? Do you think this story is about you, your father or even me? All this is not about any of us. What this is all about is about everything. Especially everything and a little bit of nothing. He then slaps me in the face just because I lost focus, I think. My shy, deviant sight. And he continues. Look at me. Don't lose your marbles. And I almost smile because I look stupid. We open the door and silently take the stolen chest with us and mount it on Dora's bike. I return to the bar and respectfully close the door and turn my back to what was once my home. The engines of our machines accelerate and we restart the mission. To continue the second phase of acquiring a faster interplanetary spaceship. The destination now is for the Juvian moon Europa.